Hey guys, JQ from Team Cowboy for Game, bringing you a deck profile of a deck that I was uh, fooling around with a little bit in the last week or so, uh, which is Invoked uh, Synchron, I guess you could call it. Um, so this is a combo I saw a little while ago, uh, only just got around to really trying it out um, because I needed the Revolution Synchrons. So uh, shout outs to Jesse from our Discord uh, for getting those to me. Um, but yeah, it's been fun, it's been performing relatively well, um, and with a couple of the changes in the ban list, I think it'll do even better. Um, so let's see how it all goes. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, firstly, we start with the main deck. Uh, so obviously we have our boy Alistar. Uh, normal summon, search uh, the card, and then discard to be out fusions. Really, sh uh, it's probably getting to a point where I do need to explain this because it's been so long since he's been relevant, but yeah, that's what he do. Uh, then we have the boy, Revolution Synchron, three of those. Uh, so it can be used as a, a synchro material for a level seven dragon from your hand, and then mills a card to summon itself back while you have a synchro on the board, and it treats as level as one, so it enables some wacky and fun things. Uh, then we've got the one Ecclesia and the one Fleur de Lis. Uh, so you're obviously searching these off your Nadir and doing it after you do your initial combo for some extra interrupts. Uh, we've got the one Therion King Regulus, uh, which we'll get into how that all goes uh, soon, but an extra negate because you equip the, uh, the guy from the graveyard to him to summon. Uh, then we've got some hand traps. We've got three Ash Blossom, two Ghost Bell, and two Effect Veiler. Uh, just for those extra interrupts or for your Macabre to be able to negate stuff, because there will be a Macabre. There was always a Macabre. Uh, and then we've got just the one shifter. Uh, this is for cross out, uh, not to actually play. Uh, so please don't use this if you're playing this deck. You want it to stop your opponent from using theirs. Uh, some spells. We've got three magical meltdown. Uh, search is your boy on summon, means they can't negate the activation of your fu uh, fusion spells. Uh, and they also can't activate anything on the summon of your fusion monsters. Uh, then we've got the Disc Colosseum, uh, adds the King Regulus on activation, uh, and if a monster is destroyed by battle, you can add back a Therion from your graveyard. Uh, if you're playing more Therions, you can also use this protection effect, but I'm not, so that's an option if you want to expand on the deck a little bit more. And then we've got a copy of Chicken Game as well, recently added uh, due to the ban list. Um, so pay a thousand, you can either draw a card, uh, destroy it, or you can uh, have your opponent gain a thousand life points. Realistically, you're doing it for both the possible draw and the fact that the combo sometimes means that you might miss out on searching a field spell that you want, so it's just an extra target. Uh, and then obviously the terraforming to get you hopefully started. And then we've got the three tunings uh, to be able to add your rev synchron to be able to do the play. Uh, three Nadir's Servant, uh, adds back from Grave as well, so even if you've used your Ecclesia for something else, you can add it back. Uh, two Invocation, uh, infinitely recyclable, so you don't really have to play three. Uh, you can if you want, but it can be brick on occasion. Uh, double Tactics, a Call By, and a Duster, uh, just for those situations where you need it. People will be hand trapping you uh, where they can, so having the tactics to be able to manipulate the game state is great. Uh, and then we've got the double cross out. Uh, so the reason we're playing so many varied hand traps is because obviously the deck is uh, great if it gets the combo off, but somewhat fragile. So you want to be able to stop as many hand traps as you can. Uh, and then we've got the double imperm and the dogmatic punishment to search off your Ecclesia. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, extra deck. Uh, so we've got Ancient Fairy Dragon and the Crystal Wing. So this is uh, basically the combo that you'd use to be able to do the play, um, which I'll give a bit of a summary for at the end, but it should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, going second though, I thought there might be a better option, uh, or an another option I should say, uh, if you, <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry, uh, if you needed to. Uh, so I added a Black Rose Dragon, because you can sync that with the Rev Synchron from hand, uh, threaten to blow up the board. Uh, so yeah, I thought that's pretty solid. Uh, moving on to some invoked things, we've got double Macabre, one Raijin, one Purgatrio, and one Orgwades. Uh Just like you probably could get away with playing more if you needed to, but like that's really like the basics of what you're trying to do. Um, you really won't need too many more than that, I don't think. 
Uh, then we've got uh, Fee and Nadir targets, we've got an Entus and a Titanoclad. Uh, Entus obviously going second more prevalent uh, to be able to draw you a card. Uh, destroy a card rather, I'm getting too ahead of myself. And then Titanoclad, if you've used your um, Ecclesia to be able to search your punishment, you can use it to search your Flirtly. Um, also as a target for that, but more so for uh, Super Poly, because you're likely playing it in your side, you've got a Garura, Wings of Resonant Life. Uh, and as another Super Poly target, you've got your Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Uh, if you find you need the space to play it, you can also whack in a copy of the Dragus Topelia, but yeah, currently with mine I don't have space. Uh, we've got a Almirage, uh, just in case your plays aren't going quite that well, you need a bit of protection or just to get your Alistair in the graveyard. And then we've also got an Artemis to be able to enable just basic Macabre line. And then finally, we've got an SP Little Knight. Um, I probably could make some changes to make this more applicable, but currently it's doing fine. So yeah, it's that can change out for another card if you feel like it, but I like this as a follow-up removal if things aren't going that great. Um, so, basic combo line is, uh, you go, I'm just going to quickly grab the cards out, so apologies for the mess. Uh, if you start with Meltdown, searching your Alistar. Alistar, search your Invocation. Uh, you sync with it and your Rev Synchron in hand to be able to make your Ancient Fairy Dragon. Ancient Fairy Dragon effect pops the Meltdown to be able to search the Disc Coliseum. Disc Coliseum, add your Therion, uh, Rev Synchron Engrave, send it, mill one, let's pretend. Uh, sync eight into Crystal Wing, Regulus, equip the Rev Synchron, summon, and then Invocation, Banish, the Ancient Fairy Dragon, and that to be able to summon the, if I can grab it, Macabre. So that's the basic idea of what the deck's trying to do, and then obviously if you open a Deer Servant and stuff, you can do more. Um, but yeah, I've found that this board's performed quite well, um, especially now that there's less negates in the game with the banning of Barone and Savage Dragon, there's just a bit more that you can do. Um, so yeah. Uh, try it out see what you think let me know if you have any suggestions for the deck uh, like and subscribe as per usual we'd really love to bring you more content and if you let us know what you like then we can bring you more of it uh, but yeah hope to catch you on the next one and um, thanks so much for watching